Pay close attention to this video. A woman was in the kitchen of a house. At that moment, the man goes up to her and asks who she was and what she is doing there. She then gets scared by a man and says she knew who he was. She said he should be her aunt's husband and said it was a pleasure to meet him. He said it was also a pleasure to meet her and at that moment the lady appears. She asked what was going on there and then the man said that nothing was happening and that he was just introducing himself to her niece. He then asked why the lady hadn't said anything about her niece being there. She said she had forgotten to talk about it, but that she was going to stay with them for a few days. The woman tells the man that if he needed something, she could help him and she would be happy about it. The lady then tells her niece that she had already told her not to dress that way because she didn't want her husband to see her in those clothes. She then asks her niece to change and the woman apologizes to her aunt and leaves. As she leaves, the lady tells the man that he needs to be more careful about what he was thinking of doing. Sometime later, the man goes to a woman who was in his kitchen thinking it was the lady, but in fact, it was the woman. He apologizes for doing that, but she tells him he didn't need to worry because he just made a mistake. He then asks her why she is wearing his wife's dress. He says that the dress belonged to his wife. She says she didn't know the dress belonged to her aunt. She apologizes to him, people who didn't bring enough clothes to stay so long. He then tells her that she needn't worry, but that she shouldn't let her aunt see her in that dress, as she wouldn't like it. She then tells him to sit down as she was going to prepare something for him to eat. He thinks about it and says he didn't see a problem and then accepts what the woman had proposed. She tells him to sit down and get ready to have the best coffee he's ever tasted in his life. Sometime later, the man arrives in his room and is surprised by what he sees. He then begins to wonder what it could be and begins to wonder if his wife would surprise him, but at that moment the woman comes up to him, says that it was actually hers. He then asked her what she was doing there and told her that she should leave, because if his wife saw them at that moment, she would have some wrong idea about it. She then asked him why he was saying that, as she knew he had been staring at her body all that week. She said she knew he wanted her too, but the man tells her not to think about it because she was mistaken. He said she was mistaken to think that way, because he would never cheat on his wife. She then tells him that he would never regret staying with her, as she was much better than her aunt. He said he didn't care about the file and says he didn't want her to talk about it again and leaves. When he leaves, the woman tells him that she wouldn't leave things that way as she's never been rejected before and he wouldn't be the first person to do so. Sometime later, the woman was leading her aunt to the man. She was telling her aunt to hurry up, because she had something to show her. The lady asks what her niece was talking about and the woman shows the man along with another woman. The lady says there was nothing wrong and the woman says she was mistaken as the man was holding hands with another woman. She says that her aunt should pay more attention to it, as she had overheard the man talking to another woman on the phone and that she was sure that the other woman was the one he was talking to. The lady says that she wasn't going to leave it that way and that she was going to solve that situation. When they finish talking, the lady tells her niece to prepare something, she wasn't going to let things end that way. Sometime later the lady was kicking the man out of the house. He asked her why she was treating him that way, but she said that he was unfaithful and that he deserved to be treated that way. He doesn't ask what she was talking about and says they should talk about it. The lady says that she didn't want to talk to the man as she knew he was a traitor and so she closes the door of her house. He wonders what had happened there and at that moment the woman goes to him. She says that he had rejected her to be with her aunt, but that now he was without anyone. He says it was a misunderstanding and that he knew his wife would reconsider. She then asks if the man really thought her aunt would reconsider after everything he had done. She then asks him what he thought of them being together, since she was willing to stay by his side. He says he didn't know if that was right and that he didn't know the woman. She then tells him that he would never regret staying by her side and then asks if he would stay by her side or not. He thinks about it for a while and decides to accept her offer, but tells her not to say anything to her aunt. He tells them to meet in a nearby square and that she was supposed to go alone.
The man goes to the square where he had arranged to meet the woman and sits down on a bench. At this moment, another man walks up to him, sits next to him, he asks if the man would really trade the love of his life to be with a woman who didn't know what love was. The man asks what the other man was talking about, since he didn't know what he was going through. He said that his wife had kicked him out of the house and that maybe she was right and that he needed to be with other people. He said that maybe he needed a woman who valued him more and that this person could be the woman. The other man then tells the man that he wasn't thinking straight about what was going on. He said that a lot of people ended up letting bad things into their relationship and that they didn't realize it. He says that the man was wrong to let that woman get close to him and that she was the reason this happened to him. He tells the man that he still has time for him to reconsider and do the right thing. The man takes the other man's advice, then leaves. Later, the woman was wondering where the man was, as he was taking too long to arrive. At that moment, he comes to his wife and tells her that he had told her that her niece was there. The lady asks her niece how she was able to do that to her. The woman tells her aunt not to believe what the man was saying, as he was a liar and a traitor. The man said he was not a liar and that he had recorded what she had said to him. She is surprised by this and the man reveals that he actually recorded everything she had said. He then asks her if she would still say he was a liar. The lady then asks, how did your niece have the courage to do that to her? She said that she had let her niece live in her house and that she ended up returning the favor by trying to steal from her husband. The lady says that she never wanted her niece to stay in her house again and that she should leave. The woman says she had nowhere else to go and asks her to reconsider. The lady is furious about this and tries to hit her niece, but the man prevents her from doing so, saying that it was not worth it. They then leave and when they leave, the woman begins to despair and wonder what she was going to do now since she had nowhere else to go.